Okay, hey everybody, and welcome back. My name is Sue, and I am from OML Embroidery. I was just looking why my desk looks crooked, but it isn't. We have a new, oh, that's better. I have a new point of view. I just moved, I just moved the cameras and moved stuff around. So, hopefully it looks good. Good morning, Leah. Ah, good morning, Robin. Hi, Sue, they say. Wonderful to see all the people with the membership. You guys absolutely rock. Yes. I am coming up with classes, and I think we're going to have fun. Cindy King says, I like the view. It's a little more room. It's a little more room. I put the camera up higher. I moved my desk. Uh, now we just have to see how the... Um, lighting works so i don't know jill good morning and good morning elizabeth yes i have an oml saturday alarm <laughs> that's really funny <laughs> uh judy quilt was saying that um she had she was out in the garage finding some supplies and mr quilt had to go through her purse to find the phone to turn off the alarm which is makes me happy i just love it so chris jesse ramona good morning jude good morning from miley and me hi miley hopefully miley's being good karina always happy to see karina for sure and isabel uh awesome troy michigan gia good morning sharon good morning so many people now lynn Arlen is listening. She's doing something uh, this morning. So we could still say hi to Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Uh, she sent me a text this morning saying, I'm not going to make it. I don't know. I said, it's okay. Elizabeth says, desk lighting and new view looks great. I also, because I moved everything, the um, machine is a little different too. So, okay, Carla, hello, good morning. Today we are talking about freestanding lace. Nana, hi, Nana. And Leah says, hi, Lynn. And there's a couple more. Eileen Jones, hello. Jesse saying, hi, Lynn. So Lynn will be listening so she can uh, giggle at that. Ronog, I saw Ronog and she has a membership. Thank you, Ronog. How come Ronog's name isn't blue? I'll have to look at that. That's kind of weird. So what we're talking about today is freestanding lace. Now, I love Halloween. I don't know if you guys are surprised at that. Uh, so I'm going to be making some freestanding lace Halloween designs uh, because they simply just make me happy and I need some happy. So we are going to be... Um, working on that it's a lot of fun so i thought i would do a video on tips and tricks on how to get the best and this one looks pretty good if i hold them up closer you can see the designs um and isn't that pretty i like it i really like it it's just a bat he's flying away uh i like the colors you could also do uh purple I think that would be good too, but you know, black bat, he's cute. He's got little ears. I wanted to add some bling. Okay. So these are for, um, you know, hanging up decorations. The picture I have, it's in the window, which looks really good, but you can add bling to your freestanding lace. So what I was going to do is get a couple of red rhinestones and make eyes. Now, wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? Eyes. And then you could maybe put one on each of these circles and in the middle of the flower. So yeah, you can hot glue them on. You can do anything. You can do them on the back side, but meh, don't worry about it. Uh, but don't be afraid to add a little bit of bling. I will find my bling afterwards and I'll try that because I think it would be fantastic. So I did two of them. Now I really like this one. This is my bats. Hey, look, bats bookmark, gone batty bookmark. And the difference between the two, other than the two designs, 
is this one I took great care when drying it and this one not so much so you can see it's crooked it's pulled a little bit here you can see if we look up close you can see right here that the stitches are pulled a little bit that's because when it's wet it is quite um quite I don't know movable I guess is the right word uh, delicate might be the right word so you do have to be careful when you wet them be very gentle and um, you know put them down on a flat surface I have uh, like a towel I guess a hand towel that I put them on and I do this you know one side the other that sort of thing um, this one I kind of scrunched up and then laid out and that's what it looks like so however you can fix it so how can you fix it um you can iron it carefully a little bit of steam you're reactivating everything again and do it on a flat surface put a pressing cloth you don't want to melt your thread and you can iron it and it'll look like this I've done so much lace though that I don't actually <laughs> worry about ironing. I could have with this one, but I was doing it all on purpose so you guys could see the difference. So you don't really want this bat wing curled up. You want everything to be flat. So by the way, if you want to stitch out these designs, they are uh, on the OML Embroidery website. So you can pick them up. They're not very expensive and it's a lot of fun. And there's going to be lots more. So you can feel confident about that. Lots of lace. I just feel like being happy. So I'm going to do some lace. I am happy, but you know. Oh, I also wanted to tell you guys, I finally named my car. Actually, Beatrice came up with it. We've been brainstorming for a long time. So it's called a cash key by Nissan. So we decided to call it Liam. So Liam Nissan, get it? Yes. Okay, so it's Liam. So, you know, I have to name everything. That's just as good as McDreamy. So I'm like all for it. So awesome. Um, so let's talk about the different things that you need. First of all, First and foot, Elizabeth says, love it. I know, Karina, isn't it funny? Um, B said it because we were, you know, trying to come up. What goes with cash key? Absolutely nothing. And so we were trying for Nissan and B said, Liam. And I'm like, that's it. That's it. Totally it. So thread. So you want to make sure um, Johnny cash key. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. I just bought a Lexus and named it Alexis. All right, Chris. Yes, I'm glad to see people are naming things. It is just fun. Uh, Johnny Cash Key. I think that's awesome. I uh, that that's also just as good, right up there. So high quality thread. That's the first thing that you need. Now you notice there's no fabric in this kind of freestanding lace and it, uh, it it's just thread so you better have some nice thread you can use variegated thread but there's so many layers in there I'm not sure how it would work out I will be designing some for variegated thread and see what I can do with that it'll be cute so high quality thread must have must have now in general terms don't use metallic thread however if you have a nice a nice king star metallic thread you can use it so how do i know this i have done embroidery uh experiments and i tested this thread on everything 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 that i could and i even wound it in the bobbin and stitched lace with it so if you're doing Christmas or any designs that you want a little bling think of like an angel or anything 
You can use the King Star Metallic. Don't do anything differently. Just use the King Star Metallic. And to me, that is the biggest bonus ever, is that you can make freestanding lace. I should have used this gorgeous one. This is MA23. I should have used this one for the outside of this, but I didn't think of it for no reason. I just grabbed a purple and went. So high quality thread, I'm not going to recommend that you use any other kind of um, metallic thread. I think you'd get into a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. So now Shannon's here, hello, hello. And Belinda, thank you, yes, the Kingstar Metallic is where it's at, man, for sure. So let's talk about stabilizer. So this is the type of stabilizer that I use. So it's, we usually refer to it as the fabric type. Now it's not the only type you can use. There is kind of like a see-through one or badge master, which is really thick. Um, I don't have any bad badge master. I've never used it, but apparently it works quite well. Now, other than badge master, the uh, clear stuff is easily um, ripped. So we don't want that because there, this lace is stitch intensive, stitch intensive, end of story. But look at this. It doesn't rip. It takes actually a lot of force to rip it. And that's not really going to rip in your hoop. That And it's still kind of attached. So um, it's awesome. So I would suggest this. You can do one or two layers if you want. I tend to use one. Uh, but two for something like this with everything going different ways, I would use two. So, uh, you can, and let's see, can you please say the number of the orange thread and it is exquisite thread and it's, uh, ES3001. And this is the one I used for here. I love it. I absolutely love it. Nice and bright. So hopefully, Sheila, that answers your question. This is not the purple I used, but I didn't grab it for whatever reason. So stabilizer. Okay, now we can talk about bobbins. So here's something interesting. You can wind your own bobbins, of course, and that would be something you would start off with. Now you have to have the right bobbins for your machine. Now, although this one and this pre-wound one uh, look the same, the bobbins look the same, this part is a lot stronger on the actual bobbin, like the plastic. This one, if it was empty, you could just squeeze it and it breaks. So you don't want that breaking in your machine. So these are one use guys, super handy, super handy, but one use guys. So um, this is also from a set. So I wouldn't use it. Rhonda says I'm too lazy to wind my own bobbins unless I need a specific color. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you for sure, for sure. Um, so let's talk about that a little bit more then. So I bought this, I called it my bobbin cheater ones. Okay, good morning. And uh, you know, lots of shades of color, the whole bit, but I'm going to tell you, it's kind of crappy thread. So this was like $10 Canadian. And I thought it would be a great deal, but I've had so many troubles with it. Like I, on half of these, I can't find the end, so I can't use it. Now the thread is, how do I describe it? It's kind of fuzzy and it's easily breaks, like easily breaks. See, like that. You really can't do that with, quite like that with regular thread. Now I can't, I can't show you guys the fuzziness, but you can see it's definitely not as shiny as the embroidery thread. 
See, this looks very smooth and, and well, this is from Dime, by the way, and well wound, and this one isn't. So I think it's kind of like a cottony kind of thread, which is not what we want in our embroidery machines, unless we're doing that on purpose. So make sure it is um, high quality. Yes, this has a lot of different colors. You can look at them, my cheater match up with everything so it's fantastic but if you can't use the bobbins if they keep breaking because we're doing stitch intensive things then it's not going to do you any good so uh i looked for different things so we're going to put that away i don't use it i don't need to keep it but you know so i went on to amazon and i took a little risk I took a little risk, I'll tell you, because this isn't a brand name, but, you know, I feel okay sometimes with trying out brand names, uh, non-brand names, and this box came like this, and for, say, the Luminaire, there's two different sizes of, um, two different sizes of bobbins, so please make sure that you have the correct size. This is A15 or A. So big time important, you don't wanna use the wrong size. You don't, it's not worth it. So I found this and it has a beautiful array of colors. So some white ones because you know, you need that. And let's see, some kind of beige gold colors, red, two shades of green, blue, purple, a light blue, pink, and gray. So there's, and yellow too. So there's just about enough of everything. And I thought, well, I'm going to, uh, you know, try it. There's 144 of them as opposed to like, you know, 20. Um, but I thought, they thought, I thought, worth a try. And so I used them. So I've tested these ones out. Um, is it shiny? Yes, it's much, not quite as shiny as the embroidery thread, but still shiny. I would consider it shiny. And it's not fuzzy like the other, you know, less expensive. It's not, it's not fuzzy. So I don't think it's 100% cotton and oh, it's hard to break. I know I did that, but it's hard to break. So I've had a lot of success with it. And there are enough colors here that you can match. So when you change the bobbin and you do the back, would you believe on this one, I didn't use orange on the back. And it doesn't make any difference. I used this. And it still looks orangey. And it still looks good. So in a pinch, you can do this. And that's what I did, as long as it has the same kind of tone, of course. Now, obviously, I wound this bobbin because there is nothing that goes with this green. And if you're using this green uh, as the thread, you really need to wind a bobbin. So there are occasions for it. I don't use these all the time. Obviously, the metallic thread bobbins I uh, keep and use and wind my own because you're never going to find it or I would never use it. So uh, another way of storing them is you can get little plastic thingies that you can put the bobbin on top like this, but I just keep them at my machine. Actually, there's a second like small spool holder and I just put them all in there so they don't get, you know, lost in the bobbin graveyard. So Yes. So wind or not wind, just make sure you do not reuse these bobbins, like the holder. Um, golf tees. Well, that's clever. That's clever. Um, yeah, lots of ways of storing stuff. I like to remember that I have metallic thread in the bobbins, so I just keep them on my machine, you know, for sure. Um, I really, I really like it. So yeah, it's nice. So that's, this is also another way of storing them and you can get these little clips and they just, 
keep it from unwinding and they're not expensive you can buy a whole thing of them and i do keep this one in the graveyard but i know it's not a graveyard one and it is a real bobbin um so you can uh you can reuse it and rewind it so there's not a whole lot left on this one so i'd probably take it off and use it again if i ran out um i've been cindy king says i've been trying to use some metallic silver several brands when i sew it on tool it takes on a tarnished color maybe using it in the bobbin too might help yes it'll definitely help the bobbin thread does pull up a little bit um as you can see this one you know it doesn't look like it as much as you guys are seeing but i used i used this bobbin but it still looks orange so if your book bookmark were happened to be flipped over um then yeah yeah you'd be okay it's still orange you can see i forgot to change the purple so the back of it is just that color like the gold minor detail i don't care this edging I did in black because I really want it to, wanted it to stand out. And if you look, it stands out outside of the satin stitches. And I really like that. I think that's cool. So again, you can hop over to OML Embroidery and you can pick up these designs. Everything's for the five by seven hoop um, or four by four. Now that brings me to my next point. So when you are hooping your stabilizer, again, I'm only using one sheet because I think we're going to stitch this guy out. Use the smallest, smallest, the edge looks purple. Yes, it is purple, Cindy. Um, but I forgot to change the bobbin on the back. That's all I meant. So, yeah. So you need to use the smallest hoop that your design will fit in. So this fits okay. It's way too big for the four by four. So um, five by seven is the next one. You do not want to put this single design in like an eight by eight. There'd be way too much space. And what does that mean? It means it's probably gonna pull and your edges won't match up so if you see that when you're stitching if you see that the satin isn't matched up with the mesh then stop your machine and start again or or go back and you can put a piece of this underneath so you have more support i would start again depending on how far I got on it because you know you can't fix it it's not fixable it has to be a certain way and uh, let me just mention there's a difference between FSL and lace so make sure your design says FSL free standing lace it's meant to be on its own lace can be just stitched on something so there you go so make sure the right hoop size, the smallest hoop that your design will fit in. Obviously, this isn't going to fit in like this. The sewing area is smaller, so we turn it like this. And having a little bit extra top and bottom is fine. What I'm not going to recommend is doing more than one freestanding lace in a hoop. Um, unless you're doing a really small, like the... Um, the um 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 earrings you could do in a four by four hoop you could do like four of them because it's a small hoop and it's going to hold everything but for bigger ones like this you're going to end up pulling ripping everything's going to be out of uh sync with it so you don't want to do that you do not want to do that so and oh commercial yeah youtube isn't gonna leave us choices about that it's gonna automatically put in ads i don't know why i mean i should be able to choose what i do but it's youtube they're changing it 
people are not happy. Let me tell you that. People are not happy. <sighs> there we go. So, yes, one in a hoop. One, 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 one. And if you think you're going to have troubles, then use two layers. But I know for my bat, I did okay. Um, so we've gone over bobbins. You don't have to match exactly. Get high quality um, bobbins or wind your own. However, do make sure that you are using the correct bobbin holder things, right? Um, yeah, so that is what we have so far. Um, by the way, I have, these are from Dime, and I have the white and the black, and they come in these groovy tubes, and they sit right, right beside, right beside, and I love it because they're right there. I don't have to open drawers. You don't have anything like that. So Linda says, I use two layers of WSS if I want my FSL to be stiffer. Um, yes, you can. It also depends if you use two layers. It depends how you wash it out. Now, some people, um, some people, you know, soak it. I run it under warm water just over the sink. Um, Cindy West, why is your life still? Because YouTube has changed the rules. And I think last week I could choose. This week I couldn't find it. So, yeah. If I had my bobbins in a tube, they would sure roll away and end up under a table. I lost the lid for the black ones. I don't know where it is. It's probably not far, but yeah, I just, I like it. So, um... When you rinse it out, I just kind of, you know, rinse it under the water and I'm very careful to support it. So when I'm rinsing it, I'm doing it like this, not holding it up because I don't want the tension um, on it. So what is the name of the stabilizer? It is from Super Punch, which I so far like all of their stabilizer. You can get it on Amazon, by the way and amazon.com but uh we've been with this guy who makes it his name is johnny for 10 years since 12 years since i've moved here so and it's super easy to get and this is the water soluble and the other one i use for um quilt blocks the soft and stable it's also johnny so yeah you can it's it's nice it's really nice so rinsing if you don't rinse it enough it's going to be um it's going to be stiff you rinse it out it's going to be softer and i like it kind of medium is the bat ear design that can be bought on oml embroidery yes both batty designs are on oml embroidery i just put them up yesterday they are four dollars each so i should have put it on sale for two i hope you will make some thanksgiving and christmas fsl yes i have to remember our thanksgiving for canada is coming up and um you guys don't have it till like the end of november so i'll have some time to do it i'm thinking turkeys and a pie and stuff like that for sure Cindy West says, good to know Super Punch is good stabilizer. I've seen it on Amazon. It's actually other than dime stabilizer. And believe me, they have some really good stabilizer. The Fusion stick for applique, that's got to be my most favorite thing in the world. I bought a huge thing of it because I love it. It's perfect. Pumpkins. Yep, I have a pumpkin going right now. I haven't stitched it out yet. And I'm going to do a whole pack of like uh, jack-o'-lanterns with different um, faces and stuff. Oh, Sarah, thank you very much. Maybe, I don't know if you guys can pin it, but let me see if I can just excuse my mousing. So I'm going to pin it to the top. Yes, I can. I'm going to pin it to the top of the chat so everyone can find it. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Cindy. Yes, ours is in October. Oh, good to know. And that's the, I can only pin one. So there we go. So we can stitch out freestanding lace and there's more than one way to do it. Oh, I should say there's one more thing I am going to uh, recommend that you put in a nice fresh 7511 needle so that it doesn't make big holes in your um, uh, stabilizer. I don't know why I struggled so much for that. So yeah, awesome. Awesome. It's really great to do uh, freestanding lace. It's one of my favorite things to do. I really like it when it's just one or two colors like this. However, the look of more than two colors is absolutely fantastic. So it's a lot of fun. It's easy to do. Rinse them out and it is fantastic. You know, lots of fun. So let's have a few minutes for freestanding lace questions. And again, always remember that lace and freestanding lace are different things. Oh, another thing that you can do is you, if you want to add a little bit of sparkle, you can add some organza underneath everything. And it just gives it a whole different look. And before anyone asks, no to Mylar, <laughs> no to Mylar. Mylar, it would get beaten up. It's so stitch intense. So just remember that it's really stitch intense. So no Mylar, but you can do some with Organza. And I will make some and we can play around with that. You can also have designs like the one we did last week with fabric and then and then the freestanding lace. So I'm going to be doing that too. It's going to be, I think October is going to be um, freestanding lace. Now the organza, Susie says, love the organza idea. The organza, you can just add it to any design, keeping in mind you are going to have to trim it out. So you want it in between. So I would put it a big enough piece for here, the whole thing on this one, this one's a little bit complicated. And then once it's down and you have the outlines before it sits, stitches the satin, just trim it out so that you don't have the organza showing on the outside. So you can do that with any design, just one layer. Don't You don't want to change the integrity of the design. Oh, one more thing I should mention, don't resize these. They are made um, a certain way and if you resize them you run the risk of all of these see all these little stitches on the mesh if you resize them and they don't overlap properly do you know what's going to happen? It is going to fall apart. It is. It is going to fall apart. So um, make sure you don't resize them. If you guys want different sizes, you can let me know in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group, or even better, make a comment right on the design. I see all of those. I get notification of all of those, but in general terms, five by seven is the biggest you're going to go. Now, why is that? because there's a lot of stitches in this baby. It's easy to stitch out, but there's a lot of, um, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh yeah, everyone, come on. Right now, go and click the thumbs up. It really helps the, um, it really helps the website, everything. The channel, the website, the whole bit. So 138, so everybody, everybody, just click it. That's all you have to do. Sparkle Organza works well. It always surprises me when I look at the project a few months months later. Yeah, anything like that or the iridescent or anything like that, it will just add a little, you know, a little extra, a little extra to it. Now, I did say 7511 needle because that's what I have. 
I'm not really sure what a universal needle is. So I use my dime stuff. Dime is the best, by the way. Um, it, it's just absolutely the best. I love it. Oh, exciting news from dime. Exciting news. And I just got my hands on it. Boop, boop. And you can buy it, but I'm going to be doing some classes on it. I'm so excited. A new add-on to um, either Tool Shed or Perfect Embroidery Pro. And it's for doing applique and cutouts and a whole bunch of things. Universal is for sewing. Okay, I wasn't really sure. I just used my 7511. So there we go. So new part, I'm going to check it out and then I'll show it to you guys. It's going to um, help with getting stuff to your cutter. So that's what it's designed for cutting applique, cutting out different things. Um, it's uh, rhinestones as well. Now I haven't messed with rhinestones yet, but I might, I might do that now. So it looks really, really good. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I will be checking that out and, uh, then showing you guys once I know how to do everything. I'm going to tell you though, it looks like two thumbs up two thumbs up. So are there any questions about freestanding lace and your best options to stitch it out? I am going to say, okay, now we know, um, the, uh, is the app applique add on going to work in Cricut colors? What's it called? When will it be released? Elizabeth, it is released and yes, it'll work for any cutters. Now it will set up the SFCM file for brother, which is what it understands, but you can do it on any cutter because you can do the SVG and you could bring that into Cricut and you can do a quick trace or silhouette and you can do a quick trace and you'll have the same thing. So it's perfect. It looks really good, really, really good. So I'll be checking that out, but yes, Elizabeth, any cutter. So you design it at the computer, send it or bring it into Cricut, then send it however you want to do it. It will literally only take you like 20 seconds to get the SVG. That's the important part. The SVG into Cricut. It's not hard. The only thing you have to remember is size. Make sure you have the right size and make sure you add a little bit to it. Um, happy OML design dances across the nurse's station. Well, I'm glad that made you happy. I was so excited to see it. So I was just going to mention too, speaking of rhinestones and whatnot, um, but uh, you can add a little bling. I'm going to do red eyes and I think that's going to make the big difference. So yes, I note that the site has changed. So perhaps I'm not doing it. I shall give it another go. I am not sure what the problem is. I do know that the PayPal button is up to the left. I couldn't fix it. So I gave up. Yeah, I'm at work today. And like your amazing girls, I'm a nurse as well. Ooh. I know Elizabeth and I think that's wonderful. Uh, been keeping up Sue's favorite time of the year. Oh yeah, it's going to be Halloween lace for everyone. I will of course do a free one in October too for you guys. So any questions? I am pretty sure that I have covered everything. How are we doing on likes? I was going to start stitching some lace, but I, it's just time consuming. It will take like a uh, half an hour to get through just the base of it. So if you're digitizing lace, make sure you do it properly. And I always take a peek at it. Um, will you explain? Oh, membership. Yeah, absolutely. I will explain the membership. There are three levels of membership. Now this is just new and this is just to keep the channel going. 
Um, and I should have said this at the beginning. So memberships, very important. Your name will change color. You can see Susie's is green and she has a cute little icon. For every month that you stay, that, that's tier one. Um, every month that you stay, your little icon will change. I'm not sure about the colors, but it'll change. So tier two, we're gonna have a private class. You get everything, your name will change. Um, it announces when you're a member. And by the way, thank you to all the members, new and old, for sure. And we will have a class together where, you know, I'll communicate with you guys. We'll figure out a good time and the whole bit. Do we go to the website to sign up? No, it is right on YouTube. YouTube puts it on. They don't charge me anything for the membership. So it's great. It's like the best. And there's one more, third tier. You get everything in one and two, but we're going to do some one-on-one. -on -one. So if you need help with something, uh, you can get it and directly, just directly for you. So membership, there will be, I think there's another perk. There's a whole bunch of perks and I'm going to have to make a nice little list of them. And, um, and it's pretty cool what you can do. So if I do a recorded video, members can get early access to it, which is awesome. So there's a couple things like that. You can sign up right on YouTube. There's a button that says join, and then it'll explain everything. Uh, Isabel says it is just under the video. So join it's, it's right beside the su subscribe button. If I'm not sure, I see it differently because you know, my channels is my channel, right? For sure. All right. Do we need 10 more thumbs up? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So yes, the membership will keep the channel going, keep me going. And maybe I don't have to do so much production. I would much rather do this. I'm very happy doing this, but money wise, I have to do production. It does make me upset every single time I do it though, because it is such a disaster, but you know, uh, Judy Quilt. Oh yeah. Judy Quilt is a direct descendant of the multiple times of the pilgrims on the Mayflower. I have seen the remnants of the Mayflower and it is exciting. Question. Yes, Cindy King, always ask a question. Uh, you usually have really good ones. What is your question? Tell me, tell me, tell me. She's probably typing it <laughs> for sure. So membership, yes, for sure. Thank you so much. It's really going to help. And I think it's easy to do. If you're not in a pop-up of the chat, but on the main page right now, look for the dollar sign under the chat from there. You can get a membership. Yes, Sherry. All right. So she's on tier two. Welcome to the Digitizing 101 live video. Awesome. What's the difference between monthly and a 101 class? So the monthly is tier one and it's $4.99. $4.99. I think that's what it is. And it is just, um, an icon and different colors. And it just shows that you are supporting the channel. That's it. That's all it is, which is fantastic. I noticed it first thing. Um, and I think it's great. And what Sherry did digitizing 101 is where we're going to have a smaller interactive group and we are going to do it's not going to be one on one but i don't think there'll be a hundred people there it'll be whatever you guys want the people who have it will be the ones who decide what they want to learn sort of thing so kind of geared to you guys right and of course the third tier one on one is um one-on-one. -on -one. So questions, we can work together. We hit. All right. A hundred thumbs up. Jill, thank you so much. Jill, 
donates, I think, every week. I appreciate it for sure. Shannon says, I will check on my laptop. Yay, we did it. I know. So thank you to all the new members. Thank you, Jill, for your donation. It really does help. It adds up. I'm not looking to be a millionaire, but I just need to um, pay the bills and stop doing production because it takes up so much of my time. Will 101 membership be learning PEP software for beginners? Well, I already have like a hundred videos on beginners. Um, I will be using PEP because it's a lot of fun and easy to find things and then you guys can do it. But um, then I will also be using the different software. Change it up. Whatever you guys want. That's it. For the monthly, will it be recorded so we can watch later? Yes. If you can't make it to the live, every member will have access to it. So um, I think it's uh, fun. I think it'll be really good. I think it's what people will want and it's the help that you guys need. And I kept the prices really low. So show your support, join me in special digitizing, not available to everyone else. You can be very elite and I have lots of ideas of what to show you guys. We can even talk about digitizing nice. So, and then one-on-one, -on -one, if you need help with the project, we can work through it. So it's easy. It's easy. It's a lot of fun. So thanks for all the ads. Oh, the ads. Hold on. It says skip ads. Oh, I'm going to catch it. I caught it. So no ads. And apparently it just says the ads are for some viewers. So I don't get it. I got the magnetic hoop for the multi needle. Ooh, I added another question. Yes. Go ahead, Cindy, for sure. Did I miss it? Did it scroll by? Let's see. I, will, I can go back. Just have to use my mouse. I want to get all the questions. I didn't see. I don't see it. Cindy King. Oh, yeah. I get the monthly one. I don't see you, though. Up above. Well, I'm looking, Cindy. I'm looking. Software... So if I donate regularly, I would join the 101 class. I will look for you, Cindy. I will, uh, don't do anything yet. And the reason why I'm saying this is because Cindy King, right from the beginning, donates automatically each month to me. And I really appreciate that. It has helped me so much but she really likes everything she's learned and she's decided to do that and it's been years. So Cindy, I'll get you added. Don't do anything. Um, you've more than paid for it. So I will figure out how I can put you in there. So good question. Yes, and you did need an answer to it. So I will figure out how to do that. I don't know everything that works. To all chatters and watchers, please post questions. Um, on our OML Embroidery University Facebook group and I can answer. Everyone can answer. So thank you, Cindy King. Thank you to all my members and, and thank you everyone for watching. I want to um, see some freestanding lace, especially these two um, and get stitching and make them the best you can and post a picture of them. So my bad is perfect. I'm going to add some bling. My bookmark needs a little bit of TLC, but I might add some bling depending on what I have. So thanks everyone for watching. Have a ton of fun stitching out your lace and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.